You were the one I was just talking to too, right, Nikki? Yeah, I've been. T I was in your box before you cooked for Jace, and then when you got back on live, I got in again, like two more times. Hey, I'm, I'm nice to you, not me. <laughs> You may become one of the second moderators. I told you from the beginning, the chat is awful. Awful. Is Emily in the chat? Yes, I did see her. Okay. Lisa, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Is this a joke? No. Can you hear me? Double yes. A is snoring or something. So someone asked a good question. They asked, if you had one wish, what would you want that to be? I wish that Big Cole would have never died. <laughs> that who? Big Cole, the father of my kids. Mm. <laughs> Who's snoring? Okay, it's on her, so I can't. Okay. Sorry, that's my child. Um, okay. Okay, so I just have one question. Is that why... Um, you got into your addiction or did you have it before um no i tried it because he did it young and dumb I don't know why it's silent. Nikki says she went up. I was hoping Emily would come back up, but... She's been awfully quiet, so. I didn't mute anybody. They can unmute themselves. Yeah, no. That, yeah, I think everybody's selectively muted. Like, they've, they've chosen to be muted.
You want to box Nikki? Nikki D. She says she wants to box. Um, hello. Yeah, we hear you, Ashley. All right. I have a quick question. Um, do you think that you'll ever go and get some help, like a rehab or anything like that? I'm not trying to be mean or anything. It's just like a question. Yeah. I'm hoping I will eventually. Um, don't you want to get better for like your son and like your kids? Like, because I heard you talking about like they lost their father or something like that or whatever you said before. I'm sorry about that, but I would think that you will try to get better for them. <laughs> And don't think I'm trying to be mean to you because I'm not. It's just a simple question. I want to know. No, it's, it's, it's fine. You can ask questions. Um, because my sister, she lost her fiance due to that stuff. And so I know how it is. no fun at all no i understand i understand but you got to do better and like the people that were coming on here bashing you before that was not okay like people don't need to bash you Michelle, my movie you and jason <laughs> Lisa. Yeah. What movie did you guys see? We didn't go to Oh, okay. What movie are you guys planning on seeing? Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. Hey, Nikki D needs box. You know, boxer. Nikki D. She was in here earlier. She was in here just a second ago. <laughs> Somebody said put a cork in it, though. <laughs> oh, Do you think that if you go, like, tomorrow or something like that, your sister or, your, like, your daughter could watch your son? Is that, like, a possibility or no? I know it's hard. I know it's going to be tough for you, but it's something that you need to do to better yourself for your kids. I don't, I don't think she's in the position to make that decision right now, to be honest. Either way. Well, she's going to have to be the only one because she's a grown adult. Like, nobody else can make the decision for her. Own, I agree. Her. I agree. Lisa, does your sister still help you? No. She does not. No, I know you just can't show up. Like, she'll have to call, obviously. But. Did she have her baby yet? Yes. Yeah, she had her baby. Have you seen the baby? Uh, one time, yes. I got to. That's good. My TV's not even up, so I don't even want to hear shit. Um, Abby's supposed to have her baby? Uh, yeah. Yep. They want to know when Abby's due, if you know. I do not know. She's going for a sonogram on the 10th. So I'll she find out it, like a few weeks ago? She may have and not said anything yet. Okay, yeah. But 
she's going on the tenth for a sonogram, so we'll know more then. Yeah. Is she probably like a month or so in it, you know, if we were to just take a guess. Look, I, I came up here mostly just because I asked a few times uh if Emily how long she'd been here. Um and every time she kept saying very long. And so I was just curious as to what very long was because a lot of us have been watching, you know, this for a long time and seen a lot of these conversations already. And, you know, so, and it's not that like they don't need to be had, but, uh, you know, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Right. So, True. And, and you know that, <clears throat> mm -hmm. so, and I, I don't think anything is going to change tonight. If, you know, anything anybody's going to say is, you know, really, it's just, we're all here, you know, observing. And at the end of the day, we want to observe, like, it's like you watching a train wreck, but you're hoping that, like, the Amazon, you did, Abby, do you see the Amazon driver that, that literally got hit by a train and it took off the back of the truck? That's like, we're watching the train come for the Amazon truck and we're hoping that, like, that thing just slices off the back right at, like, you know what I mean? Like, right off of the, you know, and he's like, oh, what the hell? How am I alive? Like, that's that's what we want to see. Now, some people, they probably hear for the, the opposite, and I'm not going to lie to you about mm -hmm. that. A lot of people mm -hmm. probably hear for the opposite effect. Uh, and those are people that are probably also feeding you money, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, and I know uh, somebody I highly respect. I hate being on here on my fucking page. My page, it's got my name on it and shit. Normally, I'm on some other page, and doing some other shit, but like Pastor was on, Pastor Petty was on here earlier talking to you. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't always follow exactly, uh, pay attention. Sometimes he's on live so fast, I don't even catch it. But I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just here like observing like everybody else. And like I said, I, I told, I talked to you why I was on here. It, it was to find out what Emily meant by very long. Um, but you know, a lot of people have been here watching for a while and want to see, like, Jace get, like, you know, what he needs. And we I all just like, want to see you do better at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like we're really we close to, to getting to the point of, like, either something good happens or bad happens. And I feel like, you know, most people here, at least people coming up here and talking to you, they want to see, like, Jace get the... And you get on the right path, but I don't know. I, I feel like not a lot of what we're saying tonight is really going to get through, but you know. But you're going to want to else in the comments or people who haven't been here a while. Like, I mean, this just we're getting to a point, is all I'll say. Maybe just give it time and think about it. Like, think about calling up, like, rehabs and just think about it. Yeah, I, I will, and I definitely do. And, um, yeah, it definitely goes through my mind a lot more than you would think. Do you think if maybe you can't call, like, have somebody else call for you? And then schedule something or something that you could go in. You had somebody like to go with you, like by your side, so you're not alone. I don't mind being alone. I know it's hard to make that first step. That's why I'm asking her if she had somebody to go with her that could, you know, be by her side, at least while she's going through some of it. You know, what's crazy was Emily actually got the direct line of contact. She got, uh, you know, like her, you know, permission to contact her directly. And then what's happened? Nothing. So I'm, and, and quite honestly, if I, you know, she, you should reach out to like tech or somebody like, and like tomorrow when you wake up and you're feeling like, you know, you could do a couple things like, bro, hit, hit. <laughs> <clears throat> tomorrow morning have some caffeine and like or anybody whoever you want to and and take the step then but you know i don't really think anything is going to get done tonight <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yes, CJ, her sister and then her daughter probably could watch Jay's. So it's probably going to be hard and rough on her because she's not going to want to leave Jay's. But it's something that she has to do for her kids. Yeah, of course. I know she said when she went last time, 16 days felt like 16 years, but I mean, to just get sober would be a lifetime of you being there for Jace, your daughter, your granddaughter, your grandkid, you never know, so. Right, because you're here one day, the next day you're not. Believe me, I have multiple people in my family past. His fiance, she lost her kids, father. Like, that's hard. Like, and how would you feel if that, that happened? Like, it would be tough. So you should go get help. And why y'all worried about Abby? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel like Abby's good. She's taking care of herself. So, right, exactly. She's an adult her damn self. Why are you worried about her? I don't know. I, f I feel like just because Emily didn't want to say how long she's been here. Somebody said she's blocking people, but like, dude, if it, if it's been a couple weeks, couple months, like it's not long enough. Like, I don't know. It's been like somebody even said just a minute ago, a couple years. I know it's been that long. I've been watching that long, but. Yeah, I've been watching for a while, but I haven't really been saying anything. When I came up last time, I got reported and my account got, um, something happened to my account. I mean, I know for a fact, just for me alone, I mean, like, you know, Petty's been aware for it, uh, of, uh, Petty's been aware of it for, like, over a year, at least. So, I mean, I've known about it. I know I've known about it that long. So, I just feel like some people come in and they, they, they're they part of something for a couple of weeks and they're like, I've been here a long time. And it's like, okay, how long? And then they don't want to say how long. Right. And then somebody in here saying that, that now they're blocking people. It's just like, dude, it's like, it, I've, I've been around long enough to see people like Emily come in here and then leave. That's how long I've been around. Like, and I, and nobody's heard nothing from me, not at least on this account, but a lot of my accounts been blocked lately. Just not even like on like some shit, like on some TikTok shit, but. It's been a long time. If you've been here for a year, it's been like at least two and a half that I was gonna yeah, I wanted this to say has all two. been going on. So Yeah. It's, it's been just a hard while. to imagine it's been that long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's Emily? Uh, she was in here earlier. I wouldn't even worry about it. But like that I mean it's crazy, you know, Lisa, that like a lot of people have been here watching you like that long. And that's why I've been saying that's why I said earlier it's like it's come to a point. You know? Some people don't last i there's people that like Petty covered two years ago that have died. Do you know Eddie? Do you know do you guys remember Eddie Sanchez? I mean that fool he he was he would come on and like beg for shit and then like at one point he was on live and the cops walked up on him on live and he like hit a line and the cops were like did you just hit a line and he was like nope but like it's everybody that has been doing this shit hits a point and it's fucking crazy that you pull in the numbers that you do and have gone on as long as you do and you got Jace right there, like, calling it out. It's just like, it's, I, I'd i like to see it hit a turning point and not the point, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone's asking who's Emily. Emily's the girl that was on here before that she made mod. Mm -hmm. Lisa just asked that. That's why they were saying that.
Well, it didn't click right away who it was. Yeah, and somebody just said, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Eddie's not, no. Blocking everyone? I don't know. Somebody just said that. That's why you have to be know. careful who you make mod because, for like sure. he said, like people's been saying that they've been here for a long time and they probably haven't. They just came in and obviously don't know what's going on, don't know anything about anything. And you just make people mod and they start blocking people. That's what happened on my other account. That's why I only have a certain amount of followers on here because this is my other account. Yeah, that's kind of what I mainly came on here for was like, just, I don't even know. I don't even know why I did that, but because I usually don't, especially on this, any kind of personal account, come on and do nothing on this shit. I mostly sit back, but I don't know. been watching this a while and I saw some people, you know, unwilling to say how long a while is and it's just like, damn, because... It just be a different conversation when you've really seen it and seen it with many people, you know, some people like it's not even like anti scam or whatever, you know, like whatever you want to call it, that, you know, goes on. It's like at the end of the day, it's like people are coming on here, putting their lives on here. And then a whole mess ensues after that. It's just like, I don't know. You've seen like, like we just talked about. Eddie dude not with us anymore and it's like damn if he if he didn't have TikTok and he had to go in, inside his sister's house and really figure it out you know he, he might still be alive but instead Eddie had TikTok Eddie was able to fucking go in the backyard and pretend that he's homeless and get all the money he needs to put whatever he wanted in his system and now look thank god he didn't have kids you know, you got kids. Right. Kid on the way. It's a it's different, and so thankfully you you didn't see what Eddie saw yet, right? Yeah, well, that's why you should go and go to a rehab before you know. Hopefully, before it's too late, like because there is people that do care about you and that do want the best for you. Like, everybody on here is not, like, bad people or, like, negative or anything. I mean, there is, like, a lot of people on here that bash you and stuff, but that's, they're the shitty people. Like, I mean, what you were doing before was wrong. I, yeah, it was. But just try to get better. That's all we want for you. Hey, Lisa. I just wanted to say, you know, you could have one of the best comeback stories ever and you could probably help other people when you get help you remind me of my cousin a lot and i think you could have a really good comeback story if you would just get the help you need yeah yvonne i, th I thought the same thing the other day when she was talking to tech i was like damn like this woman could literally become tech like she she could she could see the day that she does not need no substance and seeks the desire to help others like tech does and That's like force because look how much of a for look how many people you draw in you know just doing the negative i, I feel like you might draw e even more doing the positive right and I've been watching you back, I think, last summer when <clears throat> I think Jace was going to go to a summer camp mm -hmm. is when I started watching you. Mm -hmm. But I have I watched you for the last couple of days, and I, I thought to myself, you know, she could have the greatest story, the greatest testimony to maybe help somebody else that is struggling with addiction i i just believe that you could and that's true she's been told multiple times she'll have everyone support a hundred percent a million gifts that she wants for the right reason 
Yeah, I believe that. I believe and there's that. a lot of people that say that in the chat. If you get sober and clean, we'll gift Jace all these things. We'll gift you all the gifts. You know, they'll do things for her to help her when she's sober. But right now, she's not getting the support. She's just getting the negative. Yeah, I don't remember who was on earlier, but they said, like, you know, the, if, if you chose to make, you know, like, take the right step forward, you had so many opportunities and, and like resources at hand to do so. But I genuinely I'm and I'm about to step down after this, because like, I don't think anything's more is going to get through tonight. I genuinely think it's going to take like the next sober hour and if, and some caffeine and the, a talk with somebody that you respect, like a sponsor, or whoever to like, be like, all right, let's do it. But I'll catch everybody later. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, just think if you did straighten up and you, you got back on TikTok and you show people that you were doing good, you could probably be a big creator on here. Yeah, and I agree with her. And if you could prove that you go to rehab and you get help, like, I will help you with anything you want, like, anything you need. Like, you just let me know and I'll help you. But I just need the proof that you're going to get help and that you're going to stay there. I appreciate the offer. I do. Genuinely. I mean, just think how proud Jace would be to have his mother back. I think you're a good person, but I just think you're fighting a lot of demons. You're saying it's all for views? What the fuck is all for views? Get the fuck out of here, Brady. Lisa. Yes. I have a question. Have all the um, rehabs you've been to been in PA or somewhere else? I've only been to one Bowling Green. And was that in PA or? Um, it was in Reading, PA, I believe. Have you ever thought about going to one that's not in PA, that's not where you're like so-called comfortable at? So you actually have time to think and, you know, get clean and disconnect from everything else back in PA? I mean, yeah, I would, I would go to one. I would just have to make sure insurance would cover it, you know? Okay. I'm pretty sure if you call like rehabs and you tell them your situation, they'll be able to help you. If you have a mod, I'm not trying to say anything bad about her, but if you have a mod, why ain't your mod modding, like, and blocking the people that are talking shit? Probably because they went and said something about her. Emma, block as many people as you need to, okay? It's block all the people that are being negative. Like, the Brady person needs to go. Um, the Mildred person needs to go. No, I, we know you are, sweetie. Uh, Emily, I just haven't had any mods for about a year now. Maybe like nine months. I haven't trusted anybody. 
so it is a big deal for you to have you know to be able to do that if, if you'd like to you know I just have been running it myself. If you need another mod, you can mod me and I'll block them too. I'll help her. Yeah, I'm going to probably add you and uh, the other girl, Nikki, too, that was up here. Um, you know, and just have you guys be my mods. Oh my, nobody wants to mod for clout, my God. They think everything's about clout and... Uh, no, we're just all up here trying to talk to her and give her the advice that she needs. That's all we're trying to do, what, because we're not bashing her, we're not being mean to her? Is that what that is? Exactly what that is. And... Lisa, you have people saying that they can't hear you, or it's like... Um, okay, my microphone's right by my mouth, so hopefully that will help. Exactly. The only reason why Emily is blocking you guys is because you guys are being rude and disrespectful. So don't come in from your backup account asking why you were blocked or muted or something like that. I mean, kindness goes a long way. Exactly, it really does. And I don't mean any harm toward her at all. All, all I care about is for her to get some help that she needs. Right. That's it. Not here to bash her, judge her, nothing. Exactly, Hazel. And I do appreciate that. And I appreciate prayers and well wishes for me and Jake. Like, I appreciate all that. I will definitely put you on our prayer list tomorrow at church. Please, please do. But you just remind me of my cousin so much. She was such a a good kid, and she got with the wrong crowd and started doing things that wasn't good. She um, had tried the the rug that you. Well, anyway, she almost unalived herself. Oh my. Lisa, let me ask you this question. Um, did you or Jace eat anything today? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I don't know if you answered. Jace. Yes, I made Jace steak and mashed potatoes for dinner. Remember I said that? No, I couldn't hear you when you said that. That's why I'm asking. Oh, yeah. Okay, because I was going to say I could do like a warmer order if you didn't. But... No, we are filled to the gills with food. Okay. But thank you. I, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Yvonne, I'm going to follow you. Okay, hon. That's fine. Lisa. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think if you ever said, or if you did, I didn't catch it, but are you a religious person? Would you ever go to church with, Z uh, with Jace and see, you know, if there are resources for you or any way that the church could help you? Um... 
Yes, I am religious. I went to Catholic uh, school till eighth grade. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, and would you ever consider like going to church and, like I said, seeing if they could help you any with whatever they can help you with? Yeah, I've definitely considered it. Um, but he gets picked up in like a church van, and all the people in it are kids, so I don't even know if I'm allowed in it or not. Oh, okay. Because I know the church that I go to, they um, they work with like, you know, people that have gone through what you're going through and mm -hmm. they've been saved and, you know, help. They help them continue on their sobriety journey and things like that. So it's not always that you have to go to rehab. It's, you know, something since you don't want to leave Jay's, it's just a, a resource you can maybe think about going to or if there's a church nearby that could help you do that. Yeah. You know. I can definitely look into it. I mean, it's only one all. Yeah. Exactly, Kansas Queen. That's what she needs. She don't need people bashing her or talking shit to her. Yeah, of course not. I mean, she's well aware of the, the things, you know, she should be doing and it's, there's no need to come in and tell her the things that she already knows. Well, that leads to my next question. Have you ever gone to like, um, like any AA meetings or, you know, just see what therapy sessions you could attend or anything like that? No, I just do my groups at the clinic. Okay. How often do you go to the meetings at the clinic? Um, I meet with my counselor twice a month for an hour, and I do group for an hour and a half once a month. Okay. They said they can't hear you again. My mic's right by my... I don't know why they can't. I'm not sure. I need to make sure I'm not paused or anything. No. Hmm. I don't know. I could hear you, but I'm not sure if they can. But um, do you feel personally? that the meetings are helping you or is it just something you're checking the box and saying you go to them? Um, it's just a checked box because I have to do it. Okay. I feel like she needs something like inpatient where she stays for like 30 or something days so that she could actually get the help that she needs. Right, or at least be in like the, the right mindset for the decision she has to make. Right. So. And I know it's gonna be hard for you leaving your kids, like I said before, but you have to do it, what you gotta do. Jace will understand. He wants me to not go to the clinic no more, so he'll he'll understand. 
Right. Well, he's definitely going to miss me, for, for sure. Of course he will. You're his mom, but he wants you to do better. So maybe you should just take that big jump and just do it for Jace. Just... And then he'll be a lot happier. I'm not saying that he's not happy with you, but he'll be a lot happier. And if it's worth anything, the 30, 60 days that you might be away from him rather than a lifetime of sobriety would mean way more to him than him missing you for 30 to 60 days, you know? And then you'll be able to call him and talk to him and everything like that. It's not like you'll be away from him, no contact, no nothing. You'll be able to talk to him, have contact. Yeah. Yeah, I can call him from pay phones and things like that. And we'll be here for you. Definitely. The TikTok family that you have that supports you and wants you to get better, we'll all be here waiting to see the growth you you accomplish in the time that you are away. So and if when if you, when you get out you can always if you're having a bad day just dm me or i'm sure these ladies right here wouldn't mind you dm right you could also message me if you need to like if you need to talk to me like either yell at me or anything like just to get your anger out like you could always talk to me i appreciate that i do Yeah. God, it smells like alcohol in my apartment because the people next door are drinking. And I hate the smell of alcohol so bad. It smells right through me. I cannot uh, smell that. Lori, what do you mean again? Again that she's live? Like she wasn't active or nothing. We're just all up here talking to her, giving her advice and shit. The fuck you mean again? I don't know if you're being negative or what. what I can eat so I can get like super hungry. I should eat my watermelon before it goes bad. Kick Elisa out. Take what? Your mom needs to kick Elisa out. Oh. Why? What did she say? She say a look at your face. She's being negative. She needs to get kicked out. Okay. You don't need all the negative shit. Thank you, Emily. That's what liked my Instagram I had over there because I had like nice people like you guys that I could talk to without the bullshit you know what I mean right so I loved it over there well Lisa I'm gonna get off of here I gotta go to bed, but you know, I'm praying for you and Jace. I'm praying for you to gain the strength, do what you have to do, and you know, get better for everybody. Your your daughter, you. 
to your grandbaby on the way, you know. I really hope you do, and I'll be rooting for you. If you need to follow me, text me, whatever, that's fine. But you have a good night, and I pray that you get the help you need. I just followed you. I can keep in touch with you. And All right, thank you so much. I'm going to be getting off here, too, because I want to get something to eat and probably lay down. So. Yeah, I'm going to get off. Okay. Well, you have a good night. Also, if you want to, Lisa, right. you can follow me, too. I'll see you. I'll talk to you ladies later on.